is up YouTube. Wow, this lighting is rough, but we're just gonna stick with this and intro the video here. So today is March 19th. Actually, we're gonna move this. This lighting is terrible. Oh, it's still terrible. It's like raining. Oh, there we go. That's better. Better. It's dark and so gross outside. Um, but I'm gonna do a full day of eating today. I know if you guys are stuck at home, if you're working from home, whatever's going on in your life right now, um, you're probably bored out of your mind. So hopefully some normalcy with a full day of eating will help. I know that like whenever I've been checking YouTube, sometimes there like hasn't been any new videos and I'm like, come on people, I need my entertainment still. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's gonna be a pretty basic full day of eating as normal. And then I'm also gonna do a home workout, so I may throw that in. I think I'm gonna do just like an upper body day or maybe a lower body day. I don't know which one yet. I'm gonna pick a body part and do, it's not gonna be like a hit circuit or anything like that. And I'll probably chat about that as well um, at some point. But other than that, just a normal video for you guys. And I hope that you enjoy it. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. I hope that this brings some happiness into the craziness right now. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm about to make breakfast. And well, I'll show you guys one second. The first thing that I wanted to say was right now, I'm actually not drinking coffee. So I did a 72 hour caffeine, like full detox, like no caffeine. And with that, I've also been taking this Adrenal Restore by First Form. Um, and yes, this is on it, but just because I'm lazy and I haven't actually taken it off, um, but I'm using it. Uh, so yeah, I've been taking this because I've just been having high stress lately and it's been impacting like my digestion, lots of things like that. So trying to get my adrenals healthy, and give them what they really need. So anyway, so I took like a 72 hour caffeine break and then I've been taking this, but the reason that I didn't add in coffee yet is because I'm also implementing Harmony again. So this is First Form's hormone balancing supplement. I actually have a full video that goes over it. Um, and if you wanna check that out, you definitely can. I'll put it in the description box, but I'm gonna be taking this. Um, if you saw my last video, I am trying to get my cycle back. Um, and it only I lost it coming off of birth control. Um, so trying to get that back. So we're gonna add this in and this, with the two servings a day is 150 milligrams caffeine. So I'm just using this as my caffeine source right now and also keeping in the Adrenal Restore and then I'm doing decaf coffee because I just like the taste and like it's like my routine. So I've just been doing decaf and so yeah, that's that. And then I'm also, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what else I'm gonna be taking. Um, my fish oil as always. And then hair, skin, and nails. I usually take this with dinner, but I thought I might as well just start taking everything together in the mornings. Um, and then also my microfactor. So this is a daily nutrient pack. It has a multivitamin, antioxidant, fruit and veggie cap, CoQ10, um, probiotic, and essential fatty acids. So all the things in there. But outside of supplements, back to food. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a half a serving of these regular oats and then one packet of the better oats cinnamon roll flavor i actually have never done a combo before but that's what we're gonna do today because i thought it sounded good and then i'm gonna do a scoop of my vegan power pro and top it with some peanut butter and that is going to be my breakfast going to be my breakfast and the total macros for that if you were curious were 27 protein 39 carb 14 fat so I am going to eat this and I will catch up with you guys in a bit 
All right, it is 11.40. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout in. I still haven't decided if I'm doing upper body or lower body. But we will see. Um, but I'm gonna mix up my pre-workout, so I'll show you guys that. I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna fill this thing up with water, pretty much all the way full. And then I'm gonna do one scoop of my Alpha Cree HD. So this is a non-stimulant pre-workout. I'm using the orange flavor. Um, it does have creatine and beta alanine. So I'm gonna do a scoop of that. And then also, I'm going to do like a half a scoop of the watermelon essential amino acids, mainly for, well, pretty much all for the flavor. These can be really useful though, like for if you train fasted or if you're plant-based especially, because um, then you won't be getting all of the essential amino acids like from plant protein sources, but obviously I'm not vegan. Um, so I'm just going to be mixing this up mainly for flavor because this combo, the orange and the watermelon is so dang good so that's gonna be my pre-workout and i'll actually probably do like i'll probably drink part of it pre-workout part of it during since it's non-stimulant um i kind of just you know utilize it for the creatine and beta alanine jeez okay <laughs> so that's gonna be my pre-workout and then i'm gonna figure out what workout i'm gonna do and we're gonna get a little workout in at home can't decide if I want to do it in my garage or in my living room. I guess I'll go see how cold it is out there. But anyways, I will be sure to record that for you guys. And yeah, so that will probably be the next thing that you see. First of all, I would like to, oh, that's going to make the lighting really bad. But it's automatic, so I can't help it. Um, so I'm going to start with a warm-up. I'm going to do upper body. Um, God, this lighting is horrible. Uh, there we go. So I'm gonna do upper body today. And one thing that I did want to say before I start is that for any of you guys who are working out at home who don't have like a normal old home gym, um, excuse my boxes and trash can, but um, know that just because you're working out at home does not mean that you all of a sudden have to you know, start doing all of these hit circuits, things like that. With some basic equipment, you can still do very traditional workouts. Yes, you might have to do more reps, um, you know, focus more on tempo, things like that, but you can still get in a really good workout. And for a lot of us, it's gonna be a really good deload. Um, like with athletes, if there's ever, or athletes or anybody with like joint issues, a lot of times what I will do is like after a couple of normal splits, I will actually put somebody in a high rep split with the same movements to kind of deload their joints a little bit. So this can actually be a really good thing. Um, and if you do choose to do circuits, I am going to do some just as kind of like a fun challenge. But if you do choose to, just be sure that you're being safe, um, warm up more than you normally would, and always start with the modification of things. So especially with plyo movements, if somebody gives a modification, check your ego. If that's not what you're used to doing, you will pull something, injure yourself if you try to go too advanced too fast with that kind of stuff. Um, plyometrics are a more advanced thing. So just be smart with that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if you can't do a wall push up, don't try to do a wall push up. Start with the modification. And maybe that'll be a fun challenge to get better at those kinds of things over this time. But I just wanted to give that disclaimer because I am seeing a lot of circuits being posted, which is fine. But just know, number one, you can still do non-circuit things. Number two, be smart, warm up. Don't do anything too advanced for you, especially like um, a bunch of like hopping and jumping. If you have bad knees, just be careful and be smart, check your ego. But I'm about to warm up, so I guess I'll show you guys my warm up. I really don't want that to be the background. So let me see if I can move some things around and we'll get started. Okay, we're gonna start with a warm up. And I'm just gonna probably play the video and do a voiceover. So enjoy the workout.
That is my upper body workout. Um, and then I'm also about to do some cardio. So I have, I found this. I don't know where or why I have it. It says gold shim, we don't even have a gold. So I don't know where this came from, but it was in like my box of random things. So I'm gonna do a little circuit. I think I'm gonna do um, one minute jump rope, probably circuited with maybe like some burpees and something like that. Especially right now, I'm literally getting like no movement. Um, so I'm gonna get my heart rate up a little bit. I'm not gonna film that part, but I mean, you guys know how to jump rope and throw a little quick circuit together. I'm probably gonna do like a 10 minute little thing. Um, but anyways, that's my workout. So I will catch you guys um, whenever I finish this up. Cardio, I actually ended up filming for Instagram instead. And now I don't feel like doing cardio because I want my post workout. Um, so no cardio. If it, it's raining again, if it stops, I'll go on a walk later, um, but for now, I'm gonna mix up my post workout. So I take this no matter what, even if I'm working out at home, um, recovery is still super important. So if you are working out at home, don't give up on your nutrition. You guys, like that is what is going to be the key in keeping you on track during this time so that whenever all of this craziness does pass, you don't lose progress. Um, now it is gonna be like hard to put on muscle from home. I mean, unless you're a beginner, but, or you have home gym, but you can definitely maintain progress, but you gotta keep up with your nutrition. So I think I'm going to do cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon toast crunch. No, I don't know. I don't know what kind of mood I'm in. Maybe, do I have chocolate milk cookie? It's almost gone. All right, we're gonna go cinnamon toast crunch today. So one scoop of cinnamon toast crunch, and then I'm going to do a third scoop of ignition. So whey protein isolate, quick digesting carb powder. I literally just mixed up with water. So that is what I'm gonna have now i'm like out of breath from barely anything um so that's why i should do cardio but i'm not going to but anyways guys i will probably make lunch here in like an hour um and i got a pretty good little pump for just an at-home workout so yay but i'll catch up with you guys in a bit so i'm making lunch now totally forgot to start filming so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm doing but I'm doing a little cheese quesadilla. So I'm using two of the Mama Lupe's. I think that's how you say it. I got them at Sam's. I'm gonna use two of those. And then in between, oh, don't look at my trash. I should throw it away because I used the last one. I'm um, using a garlic and herb creamy Swiss laughing cow wedge. So I put that between the two. And now I think it's been cooking for long enough on this side. So now we're gonna flip it. I need to get something to flip it with. Oh, that looks perfect. So I'm gonna let the other side cook for a second. Then I'll cut it up. These are like the best macros ever. It's like five pro, ow! I'm an idiot. It's like five protein, 10 carb, two fat or something of that nature. Um, and then on the side, I'm having some broccoli. This is already prepped. I'll just reheat it. And then a ranch tuna packet because I actually don't have any meat made right now and I don't feel like waiting on it and then I'm also going to cut up a little bit of honey crisp apple and that is going to be my lunch so I'll show you guys the finished product. So this is gonna be my lunch slash um, afternoon snack. And so I'll catch up with you guys probably at dinner. Update for anybody who cares, I'm actually shipping out some band orders. So I have light resistance bands, um, medium and heavy for 
those of you who didn't know, it has like a little strong logo. Um, matches my Strong by Sydney sweatshirts, which you can also get on my website. So I'll link that below. But um, I pack them in these cute little, cute little packing things. Um, so I'm going to actually go do that. And then again, I'll catch up with you guys whenever I make dinner. So I had to, just now I got online and I had an email that my CPR like certification was about to expire, which I have to have to like also be able to technically be certified as a personal trainer. Um, so long story short though, because of all this virus stuff, I can't do an in-person class, which you're supposed to do. So I had to call them and they said it would be fine to do an online class. So I did that just now and Oh, it was rough. It was like an animated thing that I like had to give CPR on and it kept glitching because it was like so outdated. It was, it was bad, but I've literally done my CPR certification. I think six times now. Cause I started getting them when I was like 16, when I started working at the pool. So I'm your girl if you ever need CPR, but anyways, it's dinner time. So here's what I'm going to make. It's pretty basic, so I have some ground turkey here, and this is 93.7. I don't like the 97.3 one as much. It's just a little bit too dry for me. Um, and right now I have plenty of macros for this one. So the 93.7 ground turkey, I'm just gonna cook that by itself and then do a stir fry on the side. So we're gonna do, you guys have seen this so many times, zucchini mushrooms so i'll pan cook those i just spray the pan with like some cooking spray and then at the end whenever those are cooked i add in my pre-prepped oven roasted oven roasted brussels sprouts and then also butternut squash this is also pre-prepped um and then a little bit of sugar free teriyaki sauce i'm also having some sweet potatoes on the side because i needed more carbs and then some avocado to finish it off so that is going to be my dinner and for the sweet potato i'm going to peel it cut it into cubes and then i'm going to make it in the air fryer so i do like i cut it into cubes then i put aluminum foil in the air fryer i spray it with cooking spray i do sea salt and cinnamon and then i do it for 15 minutes at 370 degrees fahrenheit and i shake it up like halfway through so that's how i do that but anyways guys i am hungry so i will just show you the um, finished product. my dinner and I actually have my um, I have a private Facebook group and I do a live in there every single Thursday night at 7 and it's 6 30 so I'm gonna eat this and then I have that live um, and if any of you girls want to join that Facebook group um, it is free and I do daily education there um, and it's just like a really good little group I go live every single week um, great for accountability community and whatnot um, it is girls only and I do run the first form eight week challenges through there you don't have to do them, but it is a really good place to like stay accountable during them, get education during them. Um, and that's like the main focus of them during the eight weeks, but there are girls in there who just are kind of like there and don't participate or they like do some of the challenges or whatever. But if you are interested, I will, well, I'm not going to put the group below, but if you comment, I will reach out to you and send you the link to join the group. But anyways, I'm going to eat this dinner. And then I will catch up with you guys um, for my last little meal slash snack of the night. All right, so I just mixed up my Opti Greens, my Opti Reds. Y'all, this is like one of my favorite drinks ever. Like I think that if you're gonna invest in any supplement, it would be this stack and then like either the level one protein or the post-workout stack because I don't think I could go a day without these, honestly. Um, the greens, obviously different greens as well as probiotics and digestive enzymes. The reds, lots of different fruit powders, um, high in antioxidants, things like that. 
but anyways these will be link linked in the description box um, below but yeah so I'm gonna drink these and then I will catch up with you guys whenever I do make my night snack I said that last time but this is a full day of eating so I wanted to show you guys these as well Hey guys, so I have been working on some client plans for a while I'm having to switch a lot of um, like the girls who pay me to do their training I'm switching a lot of their gym workouts to home workouts so it's been a long couple of days since all the gyms have been closing but I think that I just finished up one of my last ones that I had to switch so we should be on track again until the gyms open and then I'll have to re-switch them all but that's my job so Anyways, though, I am going to make a mug cake, and I have literally made this like 600,000 times in full days of eating, so I'm not going to show you guys step by step, but I use the level one German chocolate cake is probably by far my favorite flavor for mug cakes, and then I do two tablespoons of PB Fit, one tablespoon of dark cocoa powder, a tablespoon of sugar-free, fat-free jello mix, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth a cup of almond milk, and then I'm gonna top it with some cookie butter, and I'm also gonna have some blackberries and strawberries on the side. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you guys the finished product. friends that is going to be it for this full day of eating I hope that you guys enjoyed it hopefully that home workout gave you some ideas too I also posted one so I ended up filming another one after for Instagram and it had a few more ideas of like using long resistance bands things like that if you guys want to check out my Instagram for that post um, but hopefully the workout was helpful and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this full day of eating be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, if you enjoy my content and to support my channel and be sure to subscribe below if you are not already subscribed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.